Took a second to get this working. Wow. Alright guys, it's Sword Donald Goofy 99 We're gonna be going into part two. And the conclusion of this chapter, most likely. Alright, we got Nokia and Palmon with us, and we're just gonna move on ahead. Hmm. Something feels really strange. Like this all happened before, when I was a kid. It's like I met you in a Arata before. Huh? Where'd you get that feeling from? No, not like we had met yesterday in chat or anything like that. Huh? Like, maybe... Yeah, maybe... Something strange. Whoa! Um... What was that? Did, did you see it? Uh, uh, yeah, that was something. Dang. Again with the hacking? Honestly, what is with this place? Let's go. Arata should be up ahead, right? Uh, yeah, he should. But we need to get going. Let's go. Oh. Oh, there's a ghost again. Uh, bad. He's gone. Poor fool. Er, are we the poor fools? We must be the poor fools. Uh, oh. Look at that. What was that image just now? A child? I am so weirded out. Mm. Darn it. I want to know what that was. Whoa. This really does not feel right. Speaking of not feeling right. Ah! There it is! There! Hey, Nan! Hey! You're running off by yourself! I can't just think about yourself, you know! Bzzz. Uh. Whoa. Okay. Uh, more tentacles? Oh, come on, Digimon. That was not the time. Oh. He has an eye. Oh. That thing's nasty looking. But I like the graphics on it. Looks like it came out of the world that never was. What? What? What is this? What's that? Is that another Digimon? Can't be. The black monster of Eden people have been talking about? They say it devours your data. Ugh. You guys! This way! Run! Whatever this thing is, it's a real menace, that's for sure! I'll break through the lock on this thing! Log out and get away as fast as you can! Oh, you got it, pal. You do your thing. I got a Digimon I can fight with. Hey! I told you to run, didn't I? Go on! Get out of here! Hey! It's getting awfully close to her. <gasps> hey! It's you guys again! Who will protect you, Nokia? No Nokia! Get out of here! <gasps> ah! Yeah! We'll fight this thing three on one with Agumon and Gabumon. Uh, attack up intelligence de- uh oh. First flame! Uh oh. Attack! Oh, he took literally no damage at all. Um. Oh, let's smack this thing with poison ivy, see how much it- Oh, it's still doing nothing. Pepper breath! Boing! Oh, and it was a crit. First flame! Again! Oh. Um. Let's hit him with another poison ivy. Hero terminal. Oh. Ah, two hundred. Damn it. Oh. Oh, fight's over. We could just have to live. That's fine. What should we do? It's too strong. What? Why am I so weak? We have to help Nokia and the others. 
Dang it! Me without my SPs. SP capsules. Okay, the lock is taken care of. You can log out. Come on, Nokia. Hurry! But, but I got them. Don't you get it? You're holding them back. They can't do anything until you get away. Oh. All right. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to leave Agumon and Gabumon behind. Sora, Nokia's logged out. I'll go next. You hurry on after us, okay? Oh, you... Yeah, got it. Fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. You get that thing away from me, buddy. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Oh. Find us. Who am I supposed to find? Warning. An unexpected error occurred during the logout process for Sora Aiba. The lockout process cannot continue. The lockout process cannot continue. The lockout process cannot continue. The lockout process will continue. Logout successful. See you at your next login. Thank you. Eden is a human network connecting the world to the future, run by Kamishiro Enterprises. Interesting. I, I couldn't, and then I did. What happened? Oh! That was from the game. Whoa! <gasps> what the heck am I? Um, excuse me. Isn't that dangerous? What's up with that kid? Yikes. What? I don't even know what's going on with me. You there! What's with making such a scene in broad daylight? You want me to arrest you? Do you? Um, officer! Over here! Uh, excuse me. Who are you calling a police officer? I'm a detective! Don't judge a book by its cover! I'll arrest you! Okay, that chick needs to shut up right now. What? Huh? What the? What is that? What's going on? Oh, that's gross. So gross, I'm gonna arrest you right here on the spot. <laughs> oh, but, but me? I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on with me, really. Huh? Oh. What? Whoa! Oh, how did you not hit anybody? Oh. Mm. You have an interesting appearance. I am very curious. Handle it! Before it gets worse! Ah, stop that car! I'll arrest you! Wait! The lock! <laughs> Thanks, lady. I'm more used to strange phenomena than most. But I've never seen the likes of this before. Can you hear my voice? Are you able to speak? Mm-hmm. That's good. I wasn't sure what I was going to do if you weren't human. Uh... I, I guess I'm like partially human right now. I see. So you have no idea what it is that happened to you. Uh, yes, I don't. If you have questions, ask them now. I'll answer whatever I can. Where is this place? You're in Shinjuku. I was out working, looking for something, when I came across you here. You might not believe that, but it's the truth. I'm headed to my agency's office in Nakano. You can tell me the details when we get there. I love this song too. What happened to my body? It looks like your body is in an extreme digital state, as if it were a cyberspace avatar. Yet somehow, here in the real world. If that's true, then this is a very interesting phenomenon. Hmm. Oh, she stickered. Um. Where are my friends gone? No, there wasn't anyone else around just you. You're wondering whether the same thing might have happened to your friends? You... Uh, not really? I see. I can't tell you not to worry about them, but your first priority should be taking care of yourself. Who are you? Who am I? 
Ah, I haven't introduced myself yet. I should have done that earlier, but you were such a curiosity, it completely slipped my mind. Sorry. I'm Kayoko Kuremi. I'm just a humble detective. You could say that. We'll get more into that later. But I love her. She's so cool. She's so cool. And yeah, we're just gonna save there with our little Palmon friend. Let's go. Nakano Broadway, Chapter 1. Welcome to the Karemi Detective Agency. Wait, so how did we get in here without, like, alerting anyone else? I mean, I'm just a mass of pixels right now, right? Oh. Whoa, this office is so mismanaged. Holy sh- Oh, wow. Look at all this stuff. I see. You've got a good grasp on the situation. Um... This, that place in Shinjuku, the one where you appeared when you logged out from cyberspace, it's the same, or very similar, to the place you logged into Eden at, isn't it? I... no. Hmm... Well, you're here talking to me now, but it seems there's another body out there for you as well. What? Maybe your mental data was separated from your physical body and manifested in the real world independently? Or maybe your body somehow was somehow moved to Shinjuku where it was corrupted into the form you have now. The whole situation is entirely too peculiar. Yet here you are, standing before me. As much as that shouldn't make sense. At present, I can only form a simple hypothesis. We need to gather more information, and quickly. Going by the book, you should check out where you logged into Eden, which was where? Actually, I'm not entirely sure. This isn't part of some wicked scheme, is it? Come now, you don't trust me. You are the Karemi Detective Agency, which has solved a number of rather bizarre cases, including cybercrimes. Ooh. I can think of nobody better suited to solving the mystery of what happened to you than right here. And you're even sitting on the sofa for clients. No need to worry about the compensation. Your very existence is all the payment I need. I'm not sure I like the sound of that at the end. That context is a little suspicious. Let's pretend you've boarded a luxury liner. Say, the Mary Celeste. I don't even know what that is. Anyway, let's get back on track here. Where did you log in? But first, before we do anything else, you must do something about your appearance. You can't even walk around outside like that, and it looks pretty unstable as well. Oh, yeah, it is. I mean, pixels are just flying off of me. I've had a good look, and you are truly a mass of data, a true digital body. Yet you hear my voice, sit on my sofa, talk to me, proof that you obey physical laws. A digital body with real-world characteristics. Let's call it a half-cyber body. <laughs> she does it better than me. Oh. Your body is comprised of data then it could be easy to do something about your appearance, incorporate compatible data and make repairs. You should have the same basic structure as an avatar used within Eden. It would be excellent if there were avatar parts of the data found lying around in Kowloon. The only issue is whether or not you can log in in your current state. That's a good... That's actually correct. At least I would say. I wonder how that would work. Uh, what? The TV? What is it? Did something happen with the television? I'm not sure. Over here. Jump. Huh? I couldn't possibly jump! Hey, what's wrong? Hey! You can do it. 
Go ahead. Jump. Huh? What? Oh, okay. Oh, that just... <laughs> Whoa. We're going digital, baby. Oh, this is just like Digimon Season 2. Or Digimon Zero 2, whatever you want to call it. Urged on by the voice, I took a leap of faith. But what the heck happened? Looks like I can go forward after all. This is a digital space where the information flow becomes visual due to the protagonist's cyber body. Choose your direction with the directional buttons or the left stick. Battle may be initiated, so always be on guard when moving. Uh, alright, let's head this way. Yeah, we got Palmon with us. Oh, a battle. <gasps> oh, a Bukamon and a Punimon. Alright, um... Let's use regular attack on the Punimon. Oh, yep. <laughs> okay. And... Okay, Bukamon's a water type, though. I think a Crescent Leaf should be enough to wipe it. Oh, it was. Uh, another potion. All right. Yeah. I should just be noticing. I should have been pointing that out before, but you do get items when you win the fights. Just, just straight up. Sometimes you get stat boost. Sometimes you get health. Sometimes you get medals you can sell for more money. But I'll show that in a bit. Oh. And uh, Bodemon... A lot of baby Digimon just don't have a type. They're just like free neutral, which means they're not weak to anything, but... It's like they're not weak to anything, and they're not strong against anything. Like the normal type, fully in that way from Pokemon. And this guy is a free water. He has elemental weaknesses, but not like type weaknesses or something like that. Um, wait, can a regular attack kill Bukamon? Oh, hey, look at that. It can. Which means you're gonna do, like, no damage, right? Oh, 31. That's noticeable enough. Get out of here. These babies are not worth much XP. Um, oh, I didn't learn any new moves. But that's fine. We're still just in the start. You don't need too many moves. Uh, yeah, let's log out. Let's see where this took us. Eden! Next to a guy wearing a New York hat. The exit? It, it's gone. Guess I can't go back the way I came. Well, you can eventually go back there, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Is, is this Eden? What? Oh, call. This is Kyoko Karemi. Can you hear me? I nearly lost you, but I managed to get a trace. What the heck happened? Looks like you were sucked into the terminal and just disappeared. Um, yeah, but I ended up in Eden. I see. I'm guessing you passed through the actual network lines themselves. The office terminal is connected to Eden's network. You rode the flow within the wires as data and appeared in Eden. So then for you, the network appears as an actual series of roads. Still, it's shocking to see you make such a direct transition from the real world to the digital one. You were submerged in the digital world just by touching the terminal. A dive. No, a jump. From now on, I'm calling, going to call that ability of yours a connection jump. What a happy little unexpected accident. Now you can go look around for avatar part data. Head to Kowloon. There's plenty of junk data lying around in Kowloon. It should be easy to find what you need. Yeah, let's fix my body. This way. Come on. What? Guess I should go in the direction of that voice. Oh. <gasps> the Digimon Lab! Oh, we're gonna be coming here a lot. And... She's important. Ah. 
so you can hear my voice. Welcome to the DigiLab. This place has a faint connection with the digital world, a paradise for Digimon. I am Mirei Mikagura. I open this paradise onto you. What the f are you talking about? Digi-lab? The Digital Monster Laboratory. You could call it the DML for short, I suppose. I recommend calling it the Digi-lab, though. Digital world? It's okay if you don't know about it. For now, at least. Uh, we don't really get to talk about the digital world too much, to be honest, but this is a thing, yeah. When the time comes, I expect you will know what you need to know. Really? I called you. No, that's not quite it. It was you who called to me. You are beginning to develop a deep connection with Digimon. Our strings of fate intertwined and drew me in, and so I found you. In other words, it was you who called out to me. But that's enough of that for now. First off, what kind of place is this? Go and check it out with your own eyes. Oh, Digibank. Organize your party, Digivolve, D-Digivolve, and more. Digifarm. Raise your Digimon by training or feeding. Mirror Dungeon. Take on dungeons you've already cleared. Purchase items for the Digifarm. Network Battle. I will not be covering that. Medical Machine. Recover Digimon HP and SP. So yeah, your Digimon Center for Healing is here. Although it does cost a little bit of money each time. No need to recover? Really? Oh, yeah. Leveling up also heals you. I forgot to mention that. Well, due to Digiline, when that becomes relevant, um, you access your items from here. We're not poisoned, so we don't need to do that. Oh, this... Your Digimon medals are stored here, too. Um... No, well, we're here, we may as well save. I don't save const as constantly as I do in Kingdom Hearts, but I think it's good to just mention that. Digimon at your Digifarm will gain experience with time. Giving instructions will result in various effects. Let's go in. Yeah. Two types of items are used in expanding a farm island. The development kits and the expansion plugins. Increase the number of islands. You could have a maximum of five. Or you can have a greater number of Digimon. Or the plugin, which will increase the rank of your island. Increase with the number of locations where you can place farm goods. So the bigger your island, the more stuff you can have on it. And I would demonstrate with something, but I don't have another Digimon right now. And the bank. That's where you move your Digimon around. Digivolution. You can just... Yeah. The only thing about Digivolving is that it will revert your Digimon all the way back to level 1. But if you go upwards, you become stronger, as you can see with Agumon, Greymon, and Metal Greymon here. And there are a few Digimon you can combine together to have a DNA Digivolution happen. It's kind of sweet. But if you de-Digivolve, it will make them weaker. But you also get better stats over time by de-Digivolving. Especially if you use the Digifarm with that Digimon. And whether or not you Digivolve or D-Digivolve, every move your Digimon learned transitions between the forms. Now that we don't have any extra Digimon... Load. You could turn your Digimon in the data to strengthen up another one. Like, experience-wise. I... Uh, I don't know how I feel about the ethics of that, but... Whatever, it's something you can do. Although... Yeah, Digi-Convert. This is how you get new Digimon. They don't give you, like, Pokeballs. You just have to run into something enough times to be able to... ...make it. Yeah. We don't have very many scans right now, but... Trust me. You don't want to make a new Digimon until they hit 200%, because then that's when they're at their maximum potential. And return to data. You can just return to Digimon to scan data if you want. 
I, I've never done that. But I guess that's something you can do. And there is a shop here you, you can use. Although this is for like the digi farm items. I would suggest try to get in as many sleuth secrets as you can. And mainly, if and if you can afford it, you definitely want to get this meat here. Other than that, all of these are pretty subjective depending on the Digimon you make. This all depends on the attribute. You eventually get like stats or the quality of items that when you tell them to craft something. Uh, you can also sell things here, too, for a little bit extra dough if you need it. Can we use this right now? Oh, we can. Yeah, I'll just take another trek through here real quick just to show you how it works. Let's try to take the other path this time. Like, if you need some more XP, you can just use this to level up without, like, pushing the story forward or messing with other missions. That's so helpful. Like so. Oh, and yeah, I already attacked, so it kind of makes sense he can attack himself. Hiya! I just don't like to go all out on the little baby Digimon. I think that's a little bit too much. It's not worth it. The only reason I went all out on, like, one of the other babies was because they were one level below Rookie. So I thought that required a little bit more oomph, but that might not be the case. Hiya! Oh, I can go again. All right. Yeah, the speed is a little bit interesting. I don't know exactly how to fully explain it, but it's like... The faster you are, you will get to go first, but you could also get the chance to move a few more times in a row. And depending on, like, the strength of the attack, you might end up a little bit lower on the chain for the turns. Let's take a quick little trek back through here just to show you what it is. And, um, that'll get you online if you want to battle people online. Except I don't know how many people are doing this anymore. We'll just, uh, move on ahead. Oh, I should probably talk to you then, right? I'll give you a good explanation of the terminals here, so make sure you remember them all. Oh, can I go now? I'm not finished explaining. What more do I need to do? Oh, you could de-digivolve again if you want. I'm probably not going to be doing that a lot this playthrough. But Palmon has a good assortment of Digimon she can turn into already. You got five options. Um, I don't know what we're going to go with specifically. I'm just going to let my heart guide me primarily. But I'm not going to de-Digivolve until a little bit later. I just want to, like, build... I'm just going to build up primarily. Okay, um... I already used them all, I thought. What more do I need to do? Yep, ranking battle. Participate in battles online with players around the country. Cannot battle if your party memory is more than 150. All Digimon are set to level 50. So even if it's like level one, you can still bring it in here. And there are limits set for inputting battle commands and completing the battle. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but I didn't lose that much health, so there's really no point. You can place different types of farm goods on the island, but I don't think we have one. Yeah, we don't. We'll use one later if we get it. But there's no Digimon in here, and I can't do it with just one, so this is kind of... Not worth it at the moment. Can I go now? Everything here is meant to assist you, so please use them well. Okay, can I go now, please? Do you understand the Digilab? Use it carefully to further your interactions with Digimon. Let me see if you're the person I thought you might be. Finally, one last thing. A small token for you. 
<gasps> you got a hacking skill! Actually, several, but... Hacking skills shine in combination with Digimon use, but are dangerous if used for unscrupulous hacking purposes. How you use your skills is up to you. Never forget that. You can deepen your special ties with the Digimon. Live with them, share their joys and sadness, and grow together. By deepening your bond with the Digimon, they'll surely offer you their aid. It's a very important ability. It will even change your life. Oh, yeah, true. Connection jump. That's what you call your curious skill. I know nothing of this power. It's like a hacking skill, but, well, different. But I'm certain it's a skill that will serve you well in unique ways. I'll see you later. Take care. Oh, you'll get Barry acquainted with Mirai here. Mirai? Mirai? Hacking skill. Press the square button to use hacking skills. You can use various abilities of your Digimon. Digimon in the party must meet a necessary condition to use the skill, which, uh, by the way, you kind of have to pay attention to. That's what the player area in the main menu is for. You were heading to Kowloon, I suspect? Just this once, I'll let you use the special exit. Next time, go to the access point, if you please. Thanks, Mirai. Oh, yeah, you want to go to either these uh, blue glowy platforms or the golden platforms in the real world. If you want to go talk to Mirai. Which, if you're lost, for any reason, talk to her. She'll direct you in the right path. Oh my god, I'm, I'm leaving my pixels behind. I'm like snowing on Palmon. And this is still here. You can eliminate secure firewalls and continue your progress. The skill is different levels depending on the resilience of the firewall. And if it's not good enough, you can't break it. However, firewall level 1 is the easiest to use. We can't use code scan or copy and paste yet. In high security, we uh, can't use until we evolve more. Function call needs a specific type of Digimon, which we... Uh, considering my track record, I may not be using. Not on purpose, just because that's how I ended up raising my Digimon, apparently. But we'll just open the wall up, and we can get going. Look how run down this place is. Palmon, how do you feel? Although I do wish you could talk to the Digimon, and I just now realized these swings move. That is so cool. Oh, what? It's me. Whew, I finally got through to you. When I, I lost your trace info and had to search again, where did you wander off to this time? I see. You ran into Mire Mi Mikagura. Yeah, you could say we're acquainted. Regardless, for there to have been a natural progression where you would meet her, you seem to have the craziest luck. Let's assume you carried out your original objective. We'll start by... What? You've already broken through the firewall? Well done. You saved me some time. <laughs> Alright, on to our next move. I scanned the area around the entrance to Kowloon and marked key junk data sites. Junk data will serve as your body parts. You need to go and find and retrieve some. It's something of a stopgap measure, and it may not be a perfect solution, but I'm sure your skills are up to the task. This is a key step, returning your body to normal, so buck up and get to work. It's okay. Searching for body parts isn't as hard as defeating 48 demons now, is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Think of it as an emergency measure. I look forward to meeting you in your normal body. I do too. Oh, Digiline. You're Digimon and your friends will text you throughout the story? You get some messages, you immediately hit this button, it'll take you right to the Digiline screen. Did I surprise you? But that's what Digiline is all about, you know. Let's try using simple phrases you learn from friends and clients. Got it! The Digimon on farms will be ecstatic if you respond to their Digiline messages. Which, uh, that's a way to build friendship with your Digimon if you don't feel like taking them with you. I mean, it is a bit better to take them with you to, like, build XP quicker and build the friendship faster, but otherwise... You do what you gotta do. Play with the Digimon you wanna play with and whatever you wanna do. Oh, Coromon. 
Scan data of new Digimon will be collected and the Digimon will be registered to the field guide. At the Digilab, you can digi-convert by browse detailed data. They're making friends with the Digimon through Digivolution and D-Digivolution. Alright. Although these Karamon do hit us a teeny bit harder than everything else. So, I don't mind hitting them a little bit harder than I normally would. Wait, can I kill these guys with a normal attack? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I can. All right. Although that's gonna hurt like heck. Oh! Not as... Okay, that wasn't that bad. All right, I'll just smack you as well. I know when bigger Digimon start showing up, we're gonna have to hit harder. Oh, and we got a Koromon medal out of that. And we can make a Koromon. Okay. I'd rather just wait till I get my 200% though. That's one of the avatar parts we need. We'll just be moving on to the next part though. And I think there's another one over here as well. Yep. Oh, three. A Sayakomon, a Gatsumon, and a Biomon. But this battle is extremely important. It teaches you about types and attributes. If you're not sure how something links up, red means you want to hit them with that move. Blue means unless it's the only thing you can hit, then just don't use it. Now pay attention to this. Virus beats data, data beats vaccine, vaccine beats virus. I did not know this the first time through the game and it hurt a lot. Made it a lot harder than it had to be. Oh, and there's the free, which is not weak or good against anything. And this is the only thing where resistances come into effect. Like, virus will resist data, vaccine will re resist virus, data will resist vaccine. Changing Digimon around is very important. Otherwise, you can get a little bit of extra damage if you use this. Fire beats plant, plant beats water, water beats fire, but you can hit plant with water and it'll do normal damage still. Electric beats wind, wind beats earth, earth beats electric. I think it's saying light and dark are good against each other. And I guess depend the resistance is still coming to effect there, I guess. I just took it as they're good against each other. And there's also neutral types like neutral attribute, so you could get like free and neutral and that's just normal. Hopefully I didn't talk too much. And let's just get rid of that Beomon first. Just to get her out of the way. All right, there she goes. And um, let's see, I'd rather hit the Gatsumon. I guess... No, wait. I do have a type advantage on this Yakobon, so... It'll resist, but it won't resist as much. Yeah. Although, you know, normal attacks still hurt. And I still take more damage just because I'm weak to virus. And we'll just use the normal attack to get rid of Sayakomon. And then Gatsumon won't be much of a problem. Poison I Oh. Ow. And then we'll just uh, smack you again. Battle over. Although, if Terriermon has moved, that would have hit them all the whole time. Oh. Topaz is something you want to sell for money. Got another avatar part. I think there's two more up in this way through Kowloon. Most of the encounters here are just baby still. You're not going to run into rookies down here. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, but this guy is kind of important. He'll inflict poison on you. And there's more than one status condition. Which, okay, Pokemon fans, this is toxic poison. All right. Be very careful about that. Confused are terrible. They'll start hitting themselves or their teammates. Paralyzed just can't move. Stun 
you're just like slowed down, but there's no chance of being stuck. So they split par paralysis into stun and paralysis. Sleep is just pretty much the same thing. Dot, you do not want to get dotted. It basically gets rid of all of your special abilities. Bug reverses how types work, which I think only affects virus data and vaccine. Though you could just work around it, but Dot is extremely annoying. I cure that one as soon as I possibly can. The others will eventually wear off, but I, but I would cure Confused and Sleep as quickly as possible. And you can also boost your stats or lower your opponent's stats. You can even boost your crit chance and double team is a thing. And uh, yeah, other than that, it's, it's not that hard a system to understand really. And poison will actually wear off after the battle. So if I clear, so if I kill Pabumon here instantly, it will not matter. And I remember Pabumon being way more tanky than everything else down here, so that's why I went for the big hit. Even though I got no XP out of that. Okay. Oh, I could have just... Huh? Such a quick reply. I'm impressed. Guess you get a reply to a reply sometimes. Yeah, you bet, boss. Okay, if I start calling her boss, I'm just super immersed in this game's world. So, I apologize if that's a... If that's a concerned for some people. Oh, no, I'm definitely a lot more concerned about the Koromon. Oh, oh it lived! Aw, oh, dang. Oh. Ouch. Okay. Um. Okay. I guess Koromon sometimes need a little bit more oomph. And we'll just... Yeah, you don't die, do you? Okay, I was wrong about Pabumon being tanky. I just remember Pabumon being tanky as heck when I was using Terriermon. <laughs> this Terrier Tornado just doesn't hit that hard. The, sh the last one should be over here then. Along with a few item chests. Yep. Well, what, are, what do you got? SP capsules. Those are very important. Especially for prolonged fights. Like fights that last forever. Exports will take you back to the start if you don't want to walk all the way back. I might do that in one particular area, but I don't usually use them. Let's see. Cross combos and cam. Oh, yeah. Cross combos mean you hit harder. Er. Oh. It, it really depends on the type of skill you're using. If you're using a basic attack and you combine with someone else, you'll hit again. If you use a special move, it increases the damage of the special move, which also plays all the animations at once. Heal up just increases the amount of healing you do. And skill up either boosts the amount you get through the stat boost or how much you lower your opponents. And the cam stat does help influence this. It just, it like the more, like the higher your cam goes, the more often you'll get a stat booster effect or whatever kind of other effect you can get. Um, and we're a little bit cautious around this Sunomon and we'll just use Crescent Leaf on it. Serve a, save a little bit of SP. Oh, Boyamon was the faster one. That wasn't even, okay. Hiya! <laughs> yeah, Palmon doesn't kill as quickly as Terriermon, but it's it's still efficient enough. And Pagurumon's just tanky. Oh, oh, I got my body back. All right. Hmm. You look at least normal again. It's not a perfect solution, but it's a big step. The objective has been met. Come back to the agency. But really? What's that? You don't know how to get back? Hmm, try logging out like you always do. Since you went through an agency terminal, my guess is that you should come out through one. But to be honest, in your case, I don't know what'll happen until we try. In the worst case, if your data gets scattered throughout the network, I'll salvage as much as I can. <laughs> I'm joking. Sort of. 
Oh, shit. Well, we should be fine, though. And I like that I at least look normal again. Bum, 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 ba -dum. I like this song. I mean, the environment could use some work, but I think there's enough environments throughout everywhere else that it works. Oh, we nearly have a Coromon. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit you with Crescent Leaf instead of my base attack. Oh! Oh, no. Maybe I should get rid of Pabumon. I don't know. Eh, whatever, we'll just do it again. Okay. Yeah, I almost never miss, so whenever I do miss, I get really annoyed. The basic attack doesn't miss, though. It's just that it's not very strong. Oh, did I get a new... Oh, I didn't get a new move yet. That's okay. Let's go. Oh, actually, now that I think about it... Uh, uh, you can actually name your Digimon, too, if you want. I just... Haven't really thought about it too much. No, until I level up some more, we'll just use Crescent Leaf on the, like, normal in-training Digimon. I just don't want to waste as much SP, you know? I don't want to use SP capsules unless I'm absolutely stuck on it. Why don't you just work back to the start? I only have one. Come on, dude. Give me some time. Okay, this part of the area does not have encounters, though. So once you get here, you're safe. If you're worried about dying for whatever reason. Alright. Then we come back here. Yo, if you want to visit Mirai, you want to go to these. Go to the Digilab? Uh, not just yet. Go to another area. Then you want to go to the logout button to leave instead of to one of the other areas. Like that. Pretty simple, right? <laughs> you made it back in one piece, didn't you? I wouldn't have expected anything different. Still, those abilities border on the unreal. Maybe the reason you still adhere to physical laws has to do with an instinctual fear present in all physical organisms. <laughs> this is all truly fascinating. She kind of strikes me as like a scientist or something like that. Pardon me, Kyo-chan. Old man! <laughs> there you go again, sneaking up on me, old man. Oops! Sorry, I did it again. Could you stop, and could you stop calling me Kyo-chan? That's embarrassing. That was a childhood nickname. Not going to happen, my dear. You'll always be my Kyo-chan to me. No matter how old you get, or how brilliant of a detective you become. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been there? What have you heard? I just got here. Something wrong? Oh, you have a client. Sorry. Sorry about that. Were you going over a case? No, this is... Well, a client of sorts. Though of a somewhat unconventional nature. Oh, just who are you then? Uh... That's a secret, dude. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> like I said, no one in particular. Not yet. Mm, yeah, not yet. Let me introduce you. This is Detective Matayoshi. He's an old friend from when my father ran the agency, and I trust him completely. He's the most elite detective the force has on cybercrime. No surprising, but looks are deceiving the overthinking. Well, I suppose I don't exactly fit the mold. But if I did, I'd never be able to tag along with the shadier element. Oops! Slip of the tongue! Ha <laughs> ha! Is there something afoot? If it's the case, sit on the sofa and wait a bit. I'll just whip up some tasty coffee. No, thank you! There's no case today! No need for coffee! I heard a rumor about Eden Syndrome. I thought you might be interested, Kyo-chan. Let's hear it, then. Hmm? 
Hmm. I'm waiting. Um. <clears throat> eh? What's going on? <laughs> no need to worry about my assistant, old man. This is someone with a rather special connection with Eden. My assistant has the potential to become something of a specialist in the field. Let's hear what you have to say. I see. If you can vouch for your assistant, that's fine. The rumor concerns the special ward in the hospital where they're isolating the Eden Syndrome patients. Oh, so I need to explain what Eden Syndrome is to your future specialist? Please do. It's a rare condition where Eden users suddenly lose consciousness and are unable to wake up. We see more and more patients with each year. But the cause, symptoms, and treatment remain a mystery. There's a special ward at Central Hospital for Eden patients. Treatment and a search for the cure are underway. But information there is kept heavily restricted. There are facilities even relatives can't enter. The rumor is that they're, that they're concealing facts to protect Kamishiro's image. This remains firmly in rumor territory for now. But lately, there have been happenings behind the scenes at Central Hospital. Behind the scenes? Meaning Kamishiro Enterprises, right? The guys that made Eden. Holy crap! Yes, the hospital is under Kamashiro's control. The same Kamashiro who runs the Eden network. The number of patients is increasing, and symptoms are getting worse. Now of all times is when Kamashiro needs to come clean, not remain silent. An alarming number of people are being admitted to the hospital in question, and security in the special ward is allegedly been beefed up. This means something is afoot. It was going to happen eventually. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I think I'll put some coffee on after all. We can toast the agency's success. Uh, oh, look at the time. I better get back to the station. Sorry, but let's save the toast for another time. See you later. <laughs> he just scrambles off. But there is a reason. I'd watch out for her coffee, especially the color, and the solid chunk of bloating I fear the day is coming when I'll be forced to actually taste her coffee. That day won't be pretty. Uh... Interesting. It was as he said. Fresh info on Eden Syndrome is hard to come by. Kamashiro's behind-the-scenes restrictions are doing their job. Any security will only get ramped up all the more from here on out. There's something very strange happening in Eden, and then you show up in your weird body. At, and at the same time, Kamashiro's apparently on the move. Is that all merely a coincidence? No. It has to all be connected. The rationale is plain as day. No leaps in logic necessary. I'm heading to Central Hospital. I need to get as much info as I can before security is stepped up. I'd be thrilled if you came with me. Huh? You might be able to get some info on your current state. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be. No, in your case, let's go with open sesame. <laughs> Oh, wow. Nice hospital. <clears throat> Sorry again. Well, what to do? At times like these, I tend to start off with a frontal attack. Let's try direct negotiations to get us into the hospital's special ward. Um, look, if this hospital is worth their salt, they won't do that, lady. Trust me, that is sketchy as heck. <laughs> You're a pretty sharp one. But preconceived notions can sometimes lead to unintended consequences. Don't ask for details. They say that ignorance is bliss, after all. I'll give you instructions later. Until then, gather info inside the hospital. Info? From who? Asking questions is the most fundamental cornerstone in detective work. I wasn't joking when I said you could become a specialist in the field, my dear prospective assistant. Oh, really? Become a GP and record my activities in a chart, 
or become a boy with shining red cheeks. It's really a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I'm actually a girl. Uh, right now, but fine. We'll go with it. Oh, another animated scene. I love these. I really wish this happened more often. Oh. You. They're playing up the... They're playing up the style here. It's for dang sure. Um. Uh. The stare down. Ooh. Uh, mm. Yeah. Hello. Wh what are you looking at? <laughs> hey, girl. Have we met? Have we met? Eh? Uh. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I'd probably walk away too. All right, let's start taking a look around. Oh, wait. kid. Okay, you can't talk. Speak up. What you heard? What you watch? Where? One floor above the general ward is a special ward. It's meant for patients with particularly difficult illnesses. So you want to know dirt on the special ward? Well, I've got some. Apparently, there's some isolation ward where not even family can visit. Ooh. I have my own personal physician. All the staff are kind. It's a great hospital. Let's see, we don't... Yeah, there's nothing over there. If you have an appointment, please sign in and wait at the reception desk. Which is what they should be saying. I'm sorry. I'm just very busy right now. We're short-handed with both doctors and nurses. But we want to go into the elevator. General Ward. Actually, it's something we should be able to get here. Maybe we can get it now. We'll see. None of these people here are that important, but... Oh, there it is. Kunamon metal. I... Yeah, so we can do that first, but I think we want to try to head for the special ward right now. I just remembered that on the way, so I'm like, we'll just take a quick stop. Alright, to the special ward. Oh. Okay. This is a special ward. Unless your family or hospital staff, entry is strictly prohibited. It's me. We can ride the elevator to the special ward floor, but we can't enter rooms without permission. It goes without saying that we have no such permission. What do we do now? We take out the two guards and hack our way past the door, which is likely locked, to get into the room. This is what I call a frontal attack, but it takes time to prepare, and the risks are high. Let's not rely on a frontal attack now. We'll trust in your abilities. Our trump card. A terminal in the nurse's station should be connected to the hospital network. I don't have to spell it all, all, spell it all out for you, do I? Nurse's station. We're gonna have to go back to the general ward, I think. <laughs> Excuse me. We still only have Palmon, but I think we're still only dealing with baby enemies, so we should be okay. <gasps> Connect jump. Special ability of the protagonist. You can use it on connectors that appear in the map. Approach the connector and press the X button to jump in. Yep. Although I am surprised no one sees that. Oh. Oh, it's a Motivon. I love Motivon. They turned into Tentomon. At least in the original anime. Crescent Leaf. Oh. <laughs> Poor guy died. Ah. Oh, I'm not afraid of you, Poyomon. Oh. <laughs> Smack in the face. All right, we did it. Oh, intelligence boost. I don't think we can really use that yet, though. 
I mean, they could kind of use it, but not really. <gasps> Two Tannymons! 